you're new here, my name is Marcella. I am a software engineer based in Los Angeles, California. Feel free to subscribe if you enjoy. and it's kind of taken over my entire kitchen. You got this pile, this pile, and you got this pile. When I make dinners, I usually cook for me and my boyfriend. That's probably why I have a lot more food. Anyway, I'm gonna put this away. The next time I see you, we'll actually be eating all of this stuff. Talk to you later. It's Monday morning. I'm gonna make some oatmeal. Very simple, I do this most mornings. So I feel like I look like a grandma this morning. It is what it is. I'm making a package of maple brown sugar oats and I add in a scoop of this protein powder. I just got this in the mail this morning. So I'm topping it with this PB2 cocoa powder one. This is actually so good. It's not too sweet. It's, it gives you kind of Nutella vibes and I don't have banana or anything or else I would put that on there. It's not the prettiest thing in the world, but it tastes very good. Yum. It's currently 3.15. I'm gonna make a bowl of ramen. I spice it up a little bit by adding some mushrooms and some green onions and an egg. I'm gonna set this water to boil. Also ignore my stove, it is pretty messy. I'm gonna use half of this package. This is my favorite ramen. And while that's boiling, we're gonna chop up our mushrooms and our green onions. We're gonna let this come to a boil and then we'll throw in the noodles, let the noodles cook for a little bit, and then we'll add in our eggs and we'll be done. Mm, that was so delicious. It's about 5.13, I'm gonna have an apple. the cowboy caviar I made. To assemble, we've got some lettuce. I got the fajitas. Got this really good chicken. These are for my boyfriend. He doesn't do beans. I'm just gonna have this. This is gonna be my dinner tonight. Lots of protein and I'm sure it'll taste really good. Good morning, you guys. It's Tuesday morning. I'm in the process of making same old breakfast. Also, I gotta say, that bowl I made last night for dinner, so good. I like cooked the chicken perfectly. Bonza rice was actually so good. And the cowboy caviar that I had, I'm just telling you, I hit it out of the park. I was so satisfied last night. I highly recommend you recreate some version of it. It's like my third glass of water. Having that with my ugly bowl of oatmeal and I'm gonna get to work. lunchtime I'm gonna have leftovers from last night I have a little bit of the chickpea rice and a lot of the cowboy caviar so I'm gonna just throw those two things over a bed of lettuce and have a side of chips with it and it'll be yummy I may even skip the lettuce and just do those two things and eat it with the chips that might be good Time for dinner. I'm gonna make ramen again, the same one I made for lunch, was it yesterday? I just find it very comforting, very quick, very easy. I have a lot of things I need to get done today. It is really my go-to meal and it has been my go-to meal since sophomore year of college. So I'm gonna make it. I already showed you how I do it. I'll see you in a little bit. It's busy season at work, so I haven't really had anything to eat today. 12.30, I'm about to make some lunch. But before I go make lunch today, I wanted to talk about today's video sponsor. So thank you to Ombre for sponsoring today's video. Ombre lets you measure the health of your gut. Your gut can really be at the root of a lot of your health problems. If you're struggling with abdominal pains and constipation, obviously those things are related to your gut. But then there's things like skin blemishes, like acne and eczema, a weak immune system, and even just your daily happiness and mental health
health can all be tied back to your gut. Your gut contains trillions of bacteria, both good and bad. And when your body doesn't have enough of the good bacteria, the bad starts to flourish. And that's when you start seeing some of these health problems. So that's why it's really important that you are in charge and aware of your gut health. And Ombre Lab makes it super easy uh, because they give you an at-home testing kit. They do this by testing your poop. They send the kit right to your home. It's all very sanitary. And the instructions are super easy to follow. So you don't have to stress about it too much. I'll give you a detailed breakdown of your gut bacteria, let you know if there's any health issues that could be tied to it. Also let you know what specific foods you need to consume more or maybe stay away from in order to improve your gut health. For me, they recommended that I eat more yogurt and fermented foods, which is great because I love my yogurt bowls and my kimchi, so I am pretty much set. They will even develop personalized probiotics to heal your gut. So if you're struggling with any of the symptoms I mentioned, definitely give this a try. It is such a personalized way of getting in tune with your body. You can visit tryombre.com slash Marcella for $30 off of your next kit. I highly recommend you try it out, especially if you have been having unexplained health problems. And yeah, thank you again to Ombre for sponsoring this video. And now I need to go make lunch because I am starving. So let's go do that. I'm gonna snack on this with some tortilla chips while I make some lunch. Also, a huge shout out to Redmond for sending me this toaster. I love the pink, cute, retro touch it adds to my kitchen. It's very girly and I love it. They also sent me their blender, which is also pink and matches the vibe. The blending attachment removes and you're able to then just lid on there and it turns into like a to-go water bottle or a smoothie bottle. I absolutely love the pink touches, so shout out to them. Amazing. I'm gonna have this continue working and I'll see you guys later. Mm, so good. It's 5.18. I'm gonna do an apple. I've really just been on an apple kit. And the apple, by the way. One of my favorites. Just casual, me and my three laptops. This is my work one, so I'm finishing work here today. I'm gonna have this and I'll see you guys at dinner. stir fry you want to have all your veggies prepped before and you want to cook your protein and then start stir frying everything together because stir fries are meant to be over high heat very quick thing so once things start happening you can't be waiting because you're chopping up your vegetables so just take some time have it all cut and then it'll be like 10 minutes and you'll be done Done. This one doesn't look super appealing because most of the veggies are similar color. So there's tofu, the chicken, onion, they're all like the same color. So you can't really tell. That's my final dinner. I put it on half of cauliflower rice and regular rice as well that my boyfriend made. Hi everyone, it's Thursday. I just made another oatmeal bowl, of course, and this is gonna be my first meal. I just had a lot of water throughout the morning. I've been busy. So it's around seven. I had some pasta at my boyfriend's place that he had left over, and now we're gonna go to Shake Shack. So I'll show you guys what I get. bagel and I think I'm gonna treat myself to some Starbucks today. I'm gonna have one of these Dave's Killers bagels. It's 
around 3.36, have a few minutes between meetings, and this is gonna be my lunch. I'm just being realistic. I'm having some chicken nuggets with a little bit of barbecue sauce and a lot of ketchup. Friday afternoons are packed with meetings. I literally have about eight minutes before my next one. So, gonna have this. final dinner I have the pan fried or pan seared chicken on a bed of spring mix and I have some roasted sweet potato and roasted Brussels sprouts feeling healthy but this is actually so filling and very delicious oh and can't forget my barbecue sauce on the side that's gonna be it for my what I eat in a week. It's now Saturday. I don't feel like I'm recording during the weekend. My standard work week is pretty different from how I eat on the weekend because obviously I have more time during the weekend. I just try to be balanced, but also when I eat at home, I try to eat healthier. I hope you got some fun meal inspo, learned something new. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.